Hey everyone, today we're going to be uh, doing a little bit of spring maintenance uh, on this uh, central air conditioner. Pretty straightforward and uh, simple, but uh, say has saved me uh, tons of money uh, over the years uh, that I've uh, done this practice each spring. What we're going to be doing is testing the run capacitor here to make sure that uh, it is good and uh, ready to go for the cooling season coming up. It's fairly straightforward and easy. First things first, uh, to do this, uh, be sure and uh, kill power. So we'll just uh, take out the, the disconnect. And now we're going to also verify and make sure that there's no power uh, in this unit. You only need a few handful of tools. Uh, you just need something to be able to unscrew the uh, screws that hold the service panel on here and then you need some kind of multimeter that uh, can detect uh, voltage as well as check uh, the microfarads uh, on a capacitor. Uh, this is my favorite multimeter that I've got. I'll put a link for it down in the description. It's slightly uh, more expensive than others but uh, the feature set and everything that it has I think is well worth it and uh, really if uh, you're able to you know, fix something uh, like a, a bad capacitor or something yourself, this, you know, pays for itself in, in no time. So, anyway, like I said, I'll leave a, a link down in the description for that. Once you remove the panel, there's really nothing uh, you need to worry about except finding a cylindrical shape capacitor like this. Uh, you might have more than one depending on your system. In this case it's a, a dual run capacitor and uh, that's what we're going to be showing today. Uh, everything else uh, within this space don't uh, you know worry about. Uh, we're not going to uh, fuss with it. I will say though this unit right here is my micro air easy start and it significantly reduces the inrush uh, current uh, that uh, my unit pulls when it first starts up. I'll leave a link up here on the corner for uh, how this uh, functions and, and what it does. Uh, some of you will find that interesting. Okay, so first thing we want to do is just verify that uh, the power is completely turned off. So I'm going to come here to um, my multimeter and uh, we're going to just set it to uh, one of the volt settings and uh, we're going to come here uh, where the power comes into the contactor and uh, we're just going to test there uh, across it. Um, I don't know if you can see, there we go. You can see that says zero, it's also not beeping. Um, and then we're going to test it to ground. So uh, just find a good uh, grounding surface, zero on that leg, zero on that leg, and uh, we'll test it at the top as well just to be sure, zero, zero. And uh, the meter also uh, will beep if there's dangerous voltage. So uh, we're good, we're dead, so now we can proceed uh, with the rest here. Okay, next is another safety precaution. Uh, capacitors store uh, energy inside of them, and, uh, and they can continue to store it uh, after you know, power has been uh, turned off and disconnected. So what we want to do is just take um, an insulated screwdriver and uh, and just go between these terminals right here and uh, make sure that the metal contacts the, the terminals and, and what we're doing is just shorting them out. That way it drains any residual power that may be in there so that it doesn't shock us. Okay, um, something else to just uh, keep in mind is what wires are connected to to what terminal now this terminal has some or this uh, capacitor has some corrosion and what have you on it and uh, i don't think you're going to be able to see from the camera the labels for each of these um, terminals i'll put a picture up on the screen right here of a new capacitor that uh, you can clearly see the labels anyway uh, one is labeled fan um, one is labeled herm and the other one is labeled common or com or c uh, there's a couple of ways to note that in my particular case uh, this one right here is uh, the fan one this one over here is the herm terminal and this one uh, back in the back is the common terminal so what we need to do is take note of what wires are connected to what terminals um, so that uh, we can connect it back up exactly the way that it is. Uh, just a picture uh, usually works pretty good for that. Okay, next we need to just uh, disconnect uh, these wires from the terminals. I found that uh, just some 
uh, point nose pliers uh, work pretty good to do that. Uh, you can just kind of get in here and gently uh, take each wire off. Take your time. Uh, you know, we're not trying to win a race or anything like that. So just uh, come in here and, uh, and gently uh, disconnect all the wires. So come back here to the common. Take those off. Okay, and then just make sure that the wires are not touching the, the terminals anymore, uh, just so that uh, they don't uh, interfere with um, our reading and, and what have you coming up. So I just kind of move them out of the way so that they don't uh, touch anything anymore, and we're good. Okay, next we need to find um, the sticker on the capacitor and it will tell us uh, how many microfarads uh, the, the capacitor is rated for. So if we look right over here, uh, UF uh, is the symbol we're looking for. So it's 40 and five. So if we're to test between the Herm terminal and the common terminal, we should have something close to 40. And if we were to test from the fan terminal to the uh, common terminal, we should have something close to five, uh, according to this. Notice here that it says plus or minus 6%. So it's still good if it is um, plus or minus 6% of the rated uh, microfarads. So let's test it now. Uh, we take the meter and we're gonna set it to MFD, which is microfarads, okay? And, uh, and then we're gonna take our leads and we're gonna put one um, on the common terminal like that okay make sure you got good connection and then I need to move my hand so you can see the screen okay and then we're gonna take the red and uh, we're gonna come over here and hold it against the Herm okay now it's gonna read it and if you can see that 39.50 so plus or minus 6% of 40 were well within range. So the Herm uh, to common is good. Now let's go do the same thing. Let's go uh, common right here with uh, our black lead, okay? And then to fan the red lead. And uh, notice there we're testing 5.14. So that means that that is also good. So this capacitor is good to go. Uh, it can stay uh, in use this season. Do not forget to reattach the cables uh, to the capacitor as you found them. Uh, otherwise, your system won't work, right? <laughs> An important final step uh, once everything's put back together is uh, to go ahead and reinsert the disconnect. Okay, I always recommend uh, to people to um, take note of uh, what kind of capacitor they need while they're in their system and then buy one. Uh, as you can see here, they're uh, quite inexpensive and uh, very easy to uh, replace uh, yourself so long as you follow the correct uh, safety procedures and uh, you can save hundreds and hundreds of dollars doing that yourself versus, you know, having an HVAC company come out and do it for you. So anyway, hopefully this uh, video was helpful. Uh, and if you like this kind of content, please be sure and uh, leave a like and subscribe and comment. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one.